This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another weekly energy update for the sign of Pisces. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Pisces. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming through for you guys this week. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have official person. This is someone in the military sector. could be a lawyer, could be a judge, but this person is held in high honor and high regards. Um, this person may be older than you. And if you look at this card carefully, it's the master number 22. So some of you could look that up and see exactly what it means. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have high honor. So somebody you are holding in high honor, giving them a lot of respect, having them up on a pedestal, or it could be that they are doing this to you. But you're about to embark on a new pathway where things are definitely going to be um, working in your favor as regards to a relationship. A new relationship that has now begun but things should move in your favor because someone is has a lot of respect and admiration for the other. All right? So let's jump into the tarot and see what is coming through for you guys for this week. Spirit messages for my Pisces. Messages for my Pisces. All right, so some of you could be dealing with a Libra, but there seems to be um, some type of balance happening right now for you guys. You all are getting some kind of karmic justice coming back around to you. We have the High Priestess. You know something. You just don't know that you know it. There is something that is being hidden from you, but you know about it deep inside. Spirit is saying to trust your intuition about a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Now, this person acts like they don't care. They may, may be your mother, the mother of your child, or someone that you hold a lot of respect for as regards to a female figure. But this person is behaving out of characteristic right now. And you just want to have a stable relationship with this person. You want to have a happy home and a happy life with them. It's, it's about commitment. It's about stability. Because you see them as your happy home. They make you very happy and there is no other person in this world for you besides them. But you're at a stalemate as to what this person really wants. Because for some reason they are not communicating to you exactly what it is they want. And it seems to be a back and forth because it would appear that what you want and what they want are in two different things right now. Yeah. Because you can't seem to find victory with this person. You can't seem to understand this person right now. You find it difficult to be in this relationship with this individual. Because there is something that you feel that they are hiding. Could be a cancer you're connecting to. But you feel that there is something that you are not seeing about this person. Now you know they make you happy. You want this relationship with them. But you, be, you feel to yourself like they are lying to you about something. And you're staying quiet and you're being withdrawn, but you're just looking at them literally. Because you want to move this relationship to the next level, but you're questioning them at this point in time. Because they're behaving out of character and this is causing you some concern.
Yeah. There was a heartbreak here. There was definitely a fallout or separation. And you're finally getting over it. Yep. You're ready to come out of this Four of Swords energy where you took some time out to find yourself in a situation. And you're ready to start something new with this person. Now this person may be a past connection or maybe someone from your past. But you want to redo this relationship if that makes sense to you. You want this relationship, but you don't want it to be a reconciliation. You want it to start again from the top and play out how you would like it to. But there seems to be some type of deception happening, either on your side or on the person that you're dealing with side. But some type of change is coming. <coughs> Let's let me get some water. Yeah. All right. Some type of change is happening. It's either you're going to find out something about this person or this person is going to find out something about you. Or they have, that is what is causing this relationship from progressing or going anywhere. But you're ready to take a leap into the next phase of this relationship. For some of you, you're ready to propose to this person. For others of you, you're ready to get married to this person. But they may have found out something about your past or you may have found out something about their past and now it's just like nobody's saying anything. Yeah. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sag, but this person is in this type of player energy. In this energy where they are in and out. That could be the reason for you... Um, wanting a commitment with this person but just looking at them because they, they 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 have this energy of leaving and coming back leaving and coming back but you do love this person with all your heart you do love this person but as regards to marriage you're questioning that right now you know you want that with them but you are trying to figure out if it is the right decision to make in this connection yeah this could be the mother of your child. But you see this person as an empress. Could be a Libra as well or a Taurus. But <coughs> you see this person as an empress. You know this person has gone through a lot and they have come out on top. But there is a, a type of heartache or heartbreak that comes with this person probably from other failed relationships and they keep themselves closed off and walled off to you they hold themselves back from you a lot and you know this and you're questioning if this time when they come back if it's to take them back or if it's to leave them out in the cold for they to realize your value you may be in your ego a bit or they may be in their ego could be a leo you're dealing with but someone wants to rush back into the other one and someone wants something more than just being um, in a sexual relationship. Yep. Someone wants to become someone's husband or wife. They want something serious and committed. <clears throat> yeah. Could be an Aries Leo or Saji dealing with as well, but you find this person to be very attractive. You find them to be very beautiful, charismatic, outgoing. They help you to live on the edge of your seat. And this is what it is causes you to fall in love with them every single time. And you have realized that this person is your wish fulfillment. This person is who you want to spend your forever with. So... You're embodying this energy of the Queen of Pentacles where you're using your head over your heart in making a decision towards this relationship. Now you're trying to cut out what no longer serves you and you're trying to be very discerning when it comes to this person. <clears throat> Alright. So let's see what is the best advice for you guys in this connection. Spirit, what is the best advice? My Pisces in this connection. All 
right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon card yet again. So there is something that you definitely not seeing in this situation. But know that everything is like the cycles of a moon. It comes back around again. So you are about to have abundance or this person is about to tell you that they are pregnant for you. Yep. A child could be involved. Or you are going to try to be more playful with this person and more loving and kind. But there is something that you have learned. You went through a process and you have some type of knowledge now about something. And you're ready to cut out the things that are not serving you for your highest and best good. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.